Simulator viewport templates are a new type of resource in the Profile Editor toolbox. So here we are in the Profile Editor and you will find uh, a bunch of new bins in the uh, toolbox. Um, in the first release of Helios 1.6, which this uh, video is based on, um, all of these are separate categories so the toolbox is a bit messy. Um, we have an upcoming feature to reorganize the toolbox, but that is not included in this, in this first release. So um, you'll see that there's a lot of categories. Okay, one of the new categories I want to talk about are um, uh, simulator report templates. So they come in two locations. One is um, in the category simulator viewports. You'll find a list of uh, viewport names, which are color coded by aircraft, uh, that exist in the product uh, without any mods or patches installed. And um, these are all the ones we know about in our list. So, um, you know, obviously, we'll, uh, this list will grow as we, you know, get more data. Um, it's a good opportunity for community contributions as well. Um, you know, people providing the input to that to that list. Um, so, for example, uh, a generic aircraft might have a left MFCD, right? And so, in that case, the um, simulator viewport, the DCS viewport, uh, uh, because it's the only simulator we have that supports these viewports at the current time, and probably forever. Uh, you know, has a viewport called left MFCD and it does not require patches, so this checkbox is not set. So that means that you could use this viewport in a profile that doesn't use the DCS additional viewports functionality we showed in a previous video. Um, and it, you know, would just work. It would just use the built-in name of the um, of the left MFCD. Obviously, that it has uh, its own restrictions. It means that you know your monitor setup can only have one location for left MFCD. Um, but uh, the point is, is that they're there, and so you might have a profile that doesn't use, doesn't require patches, and just you know, you can use these uh, pre-built things. Um, these are actually just templates, um, which is a Helios term for it's just a, one of our existing controls pre-configured with some settings. So, for example, if if there is one that you're missing, you could easily go to. Uh, that, I mean, that we're missing that you want to use, you could go take from the miscellaneous box the uh, simulator viewport base item and just make it some size, whatever you want, and then give it whatever you viewport, you know, uh, that you have, that you've discovered that your aircraft has and that we didn't include. So you don't need to just use these templates. You can also make your own. But just for ease of configuration, we're trying to provide all of these pre-built templates um, you know, with a um, with the correct naming, and in some cases with the default size. So let's look at some of the other ones that come with um, Helios today. So, for example, in the A10 simulator category, so these are already pre-sized, uh, reasonably to the right size. Um, so you can, you know, if you know, you you get like at least a, st a starting point of what what the shape is of this particular viewport and these are um, numbers that you know our friend jabbers acquired from an older version of uh, captain zine's profiles <laughs> uh monitor setup files so it's, it all comes around but um so you know it, it, it's a good start and you can um you can uh, make these templates yourself and use the you know just like like I said before, you can just take one out of the bin and uh, give it the correct name. If you wanted to require the patches, you can check that requires patches box, and then you can use the uh, you can save it as a template. Um, so you can actually add your own templates uh, for aircraft that didn't come with Helios, and then if you want to be super nice, contribute those back. But even if you don't contribute them back, um, the point here is that these are not you know, magical new items. You can make more of these. Um, they're all just uh, pre-configured copies of the base simulator viewport object. And that one is magic. 
right? This one is magical in the sense that, you know, Helios knows what it does and that you can use it to generate viewport setups and monitor setups. Okay, so that's pretty much that. So you'll see that uh, for a bunch of the aircraft, we have the, the known viewports, you know. Um, the F-14 is uh, interesting and confusing because there's a lot of them. Um, still working a little bit on that. And then, you know, the F F-16 and so on. So, so that's that. Um, on to the next feature.